Can you see a photo here? You know, we got some nice colors. Uh, with the green and the shadows on the green look cool. There's the wood pile, the red fence. I honestly am not seeing one yet, but it, there's a lot of stuff here. I certainly don't want to get that house in the background. Let's see what, uh, how things look. Now I'm tapping the screen right in the middle just to get focused on that wood pile. Huh. So, how about up higher? Looking down on it. How about that? Still really nothing interesting. I'm looking for some leading lines, a rule of thirds. Uh, and not find anything. But wait. Wait, if we come in a little closer. A little closer. I'm tapping on that flower now. On the uh, special third. I like... I like the end of that stump. It's got interesting texture. And uh, we got this uh, this grass in the foreground. Maybe leads your eye into the photo. You need The reason you want a foreground uh, subject and a background is to lead people into the photo. They first look at the foreground and then they, uh, the, uh, they look at the subject and uh, the background uh, enhances the subject. So, let's try something like that. Okay, let's see how this works. Here's the photos I took this morning. Let's see which one I like. I took a bunch of them. Some of them, I think, are in HDR. There, I got in a little closer. shadow there there's no no shadow in that one that one's a more closer I was trying to get that green background you know I often uh, find that I end up using that last one I'm looking um, I can see it I'm since I'm filming with my other phone camera I can see it on the grid anyway uh, that looks clearer I think this one was HDR yeah see it says HDR um, see there it says HDR what HDR means is high dynamic resolution it takes three pictures uh, the correct exposure, uh, one underexposed and one overexposed, and it puts them all together. But I was just going to do a real quick editing tutorial. So you see those little sliders there? That always indicates uh, edit. So um, I'll hit those. And then uh, here is your standard, anyway, uh, light. So now if we were going to make this a black and white photo, we would we would uh, have used that black and white light button. But So I'm going to play with the light a little bit here. I kind of like that. There's a, there's a uh, number of buttons like exposure, brilliance, and etc. Highlights. Uh, let's see what, see what the highlights do to that flower. Let's take the highlights down a little bit, make it a little more purple. Um, next uh, is shadows I'm not doing all these here I'll open up uh, I think I'll leave the shadows down so I can lose some of that background and um, 
brightness. We don't want to mess with that. And that looks uh, that looks cool. And um, next would be contrast. See how contrast uh, gives you more dip. You know, it, it evens out all the blacks and the whites so that you get more color range. But I'm going to leave the contrast down because I'm trying to leave that background a little bit dark. Um, and then black point is fun to play with. It does... Uh, it does... Uh, did I hit... Was it, did I hit black point or did I hit color? I hit, I hit the color button, so... Black point allows you to get more, to, you know, turn your blacks up and down. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, and to call it done, and then uh, I want to also, uh, see I talked, yesterday about how you can change the horizon on a photo you know you can level your horizon you see all those lines there you can if there was a horizon in this photo you could put um, you could put one of those lines on the horizon and, and or close to it and get it level um, for this photo I don't need to do that because I shot it at pretty much where I wanted it. it might come up a little bit here see how I you see my grid there you see the grid I'm putting that's the magic the magic uh, right at the intersection there of this you know there's this is a this is a third, this is a third, this is a third. It shows, you know, you can see the three thirds uh, vertically and horizontally. And uh, at that intersection right there, I'm putting the flower right in the middle of that. And we'll call that done. So there is the uh, finished photo. Like that.